let's introduce Zhu Tongzi and Pai. A crater on the back of the moon was also named after Zhu Tongzi from China. He was a famous mathematician, astronomer, and mechanic in the northern and southern dynasties. His achievement was in the calculation of the value of pi. Based on earlier research, he resorted to the cutting circle method and concluded that the value of pi falls between 3.1415926 and 3.1415927 after more than 1,000 times of calculating. Okay, now next we'll talk about the abacus and the abacus calculation. The abacus was invented on the basis of counting log that the Chinese have used for a long period of time. In ancient times, people used small laws to count numbers. Later, with the development of productivity, the number requiring calculation became bigger and bigger and the limitation of calculation with laws was more and more apparent. Thereby, some people invented a kind of more advanced counter, the abacus. The abacus is rectangular with a wooden frame on the four sides of it and small rods fixed within, each one representing one digit. The rods are strung with wooden beads, and a girder across the middle separates the abacus into two parts. The first part is the upper part, in which each rod has two heads, each representing the number five, and the lower part, which in each rod has five beads, each representing the number one. Since the abacus is inexpensive and simple to make, it is easy to remember abacus rules. And the abacus calculation is so simple and convenient that the abacus is widely used in China. Afterwards, the abacus was gradually introduced to Japan and Korea, as well as nearby countries 